Um, mm. Let's you, uh, you you did engineering in school, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Construction was <laughs> in Tom Django. I started out with architecture, landscape architecture, yeah. and then went to construction. Yeah, did a lot of general oh, stuff. engineering. Yeah. When did you realize, you know what, I'll never use this in, like you're uh, not really, you, you're when changing in, career. When I was in third year, actually. Ah. So, but at that point, it was too late to quit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also have an African dad. That conversation, so I'm dropping out. Yes, that is what I really want. Even welcome. <laughs> so, I'll give, let me give you an interesting story. I wrote my first ad when I was 16. Nice. In, in high school. Yeah. And I've always just loved writing. Whether it, it was like compositions, Angu, the teacher used to mark them the first one. Because I like, this guy is going to write some nice whatever. I was getting 36 over 14 and I complained because I'm like, yo, I need to get 40 over 40. Anyway, so I read this article when I'm in Form 2. Uh, it was a sex sales article. I think it was referencing like, um, I can't remember the car brand name, but they are doing secondhand cars. And then they were putting really um, sexy models next to those cars. And the copy was, you know, you're not the first, but you'll still enjoy the ride. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, then I was getting intrigued and I was like, hey, this is some nice creativity. Yeah, this is nice. So I, I read about the article, Nanini. And then I figured sex sales was only a thing for like using babes on, on, on ads. Mm -hmm. I asked myself, what if? What if we use guys on this ads? What what would an ad look like? So I remember going on my computer and piecing together like some. I think I was using Word Art, Must Do Paint, and then mm -hmm. I put like this buff guy who was shirtless next to a wall, and then I put a cement bag at the side, and then the copy was I can't remember. The copy was I take my body to the gym and my walls to the experts, and then I was your durability, strength, and whatever. <laughs> it was nonsense to be honest. Yeah, looking yeah. back, yeah. But I sent it to every. I was going online and looking for info at savannacement.com. I sent it. Ah. Info at yeah. CG Bamburi Cement. I sent it. Mm -hmm. But then, like, the dream just died, and then I did my KCSE. Yeah. Ended up in the School of Architecture and Building Sciences in JQuart. So writing had ended up there. I really want to tell my dad I want to do something like in writing or creativity, but he wouldn't have it. Yeah. At the time. Yeah, he first had to... Yeah. So, fast forward to, I mean, third year. Mm -hmm. um, I've started doing digital marketing and influencing work and all that. And I I was working for some mall uh, as an inf influencer for Father's Day. And I remember meeting the guy who gave me my first job ever in copywriting, Akila. Shout out to him. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was working with him and then I saw an ad for Nakumat. Mm -hmm. And it was the Kawaida Happy Father's Day where... I, a toy is thrown in the air by a dad and then have yeah, yeah. So I tell him, hey, these ads all look the same. If I remove this logo, I put another logo, another logo, it's going to be the same, the same thing. So he asked me, what would you have done different? And mm -hmm. I'm like, because it's Nakumat. And I've just taken that big trolley and that small trolley and put them next to each other. And then write Happy Father's Day because it would convey the message. Yeah. And then it's like, that's actually a cool idea. You should be a copywriter. That time I didn't even know what a copywriter what a was. Is, that yeah. was the first time I had that word in my life. Yeah. And then I went back to Georgia and get my car room, put my modem in my computer, mm. <laughs> loaded bundles. Remember those days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just searched copyright. I, I misspelled it. Yeah. Okay, like copyright, yeah, law. And then I read copyright. Oh. I, uh, oh my God. Do you know, like, I think I spent all my money on bundles. That whole night I didn't sleep. Yeah. I read about advertising, like in Ogilvy, in the fathers mm. of advertising, what mm. copywriting is, all mm. that. I was like, oh shit. Mm. This is all I've wanted to do my entire life. And then, yeah. so the next day I give him a call and I'm like, yo, I have one month before I go back to school. Can I just come and vibe in your agency and just, I tell you don't have to pay me. Let me just come and, and, just and see sit what around and see what, how it works. Mm -hmm. And then I go, then they told me like the first two weeks, we usually just bring in interns. The first two weeks we see whether it works or not. Because they're also like just starting out. Mm -hmm. And I went and by like the second or third day I was doing actual work. I remember posting like some Crips company, we took a photo of our room and put it on Instagram and wrote TBT. <laughs> that was back in CG 2013. Nico. Yeah. When CG throwback Thursday and Woman, Woman Crush Wednesday were a thing. Oh, a thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. So I realized, okay, this is it. Let me do this. Mm -hmm. So I went back to school and then I figured out a part-time work, work, working thing. I used to go to class from Asubu in Bakanun. Mm -hmm. I go to Jobo from 1, Baka 6. Yeah. I come back in the evening, do my thesis, back at like nine, sleep, repeat hey. for all of my fourth year. Yeah. And then I finished. But at that point, I knew I'm doing this for sure. For, for but I didn't tell my dad. So yeah. when I finished uni, my dad 
was hooking me up with jobs in CG construction. CG, and I went home to Ministry of Public Works, talked to him. Mm. I told him he already have a job. <laughs> he was so mad. So I, I lied to him, I told him. Yeah. We are eight months to graduation. Mm. I have this job that's paying me 30K. Mm. Me, I'm happy here. Watch mm. when I graduate, because I, I when I go to ask for work, I can't get employed mm. unless I have the actual papers, yeah. which is a lie. Mm. And so after the eight months go by, I graduate. And then I just sit down with him and I tell him, give me one year in this job. If this thing doesn't work out, me, I'm happy to go back into the jungle. Yeah. I knew for sure I wasn't going back. Yeah. yeah. One year later, he was like, okay, okay, Kijana, you're not doing badly. And then here we are. I think this, I'll be clocking nine years in advertising in August. Wow. Yeah. And you still enjoy doing it? I really enjoy doing it. I don't want to be in it for long because mm-hmm. it's also very stressful. It's also very, it's not the best industry to be in mm-hmm. from a stress level perspective. Yeah. Uh, but doing my best, I think in my 30s, I'm going to focus on entrepreneurial work. Um, and also seeing how I can go into the sustainable space, sustainability space. Yeah. And maybe build my creativity there. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying working with brands is boring, but it's gotten a bit too monotonous. Like you were asking how the industry can be improved. Um, there's a very toxic culture within a lot of agencies just in Nairobi, it's just office politics and all that. Um, mm-hmm. It's difficult for newer creatives to navigate it. That's it's true. also difficult for even guys who've been in the industry for long to just figure out um, what works, what's a red flag, um, how much is too much work, because a lot of guys are underpaid and severely overworked. Yeah. Yeah. So figuring out that niche mm-hmm. is going to take a while. Yeah. Um, it's not something I wanna I wanna do passion projects from now on. Uh, and and but, a lot of gatekeeping as well. There's a lot of gatekeeping as well. Mm. But it's changing. Um I mean the guys who were there ten years ago are not the same decision makers. Yeah. Um, hopefully the new guys who get into these new offices will change one or two things and the industry will grow for the newer guys. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. But then also construction is kind of a, cre- a creative venture if you think about it yeah because <laughs> the reason i fell in love with because i used to love sketching and drawing yeah but i wasn't the best at drawing um you know like fine art or whatever mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm obsessed with line work um whether it's like uh, geometry was like my favorite thing in, in primary school uh, so i think that's why i took an interest in architecture because i love drawing random lines if you see my notebook right now it's just random lines <laughs> and shapes and, and patterns and all that maybe that's that's what I'll get into as an art piece I can sell online. Yeah. But yeah, the, the design thinking was always there. Design is the same across all mediums if you think about it. The principles um, and everything. Like, would you, symmetry will always be symmetry. Yeah. <laughs> Whether yeah. You're, you're taking a photo, recording a video, designing a house, placing a graphic design piece on a billboard, whatever. Yeah. So I feel like it's all very interconnected. I don't regret that I spent four years in Campo. Kwanza the course was five years, but we decided to do it in four because we thought Sigma Chopi. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. yeah. And you were also a photographer at some point? At some point, yes. I bought my first camera when I think I was 20. Mm-hmm. And then I tried it out. And then the camera, I went to Diani with it, and then I didn't realize there's certain ways you need to take care of equipment. Yeah. So I think it got some sand into the lens area uh, and also yeah. some moisture yeah yeah so, so your humidity uh, yeah humid. so it, it, it just died out mm-hmm. incrementally i saved up for a second camera mm-hmm. i got it but then before i could even unbox it my friend was moving out of mm-hmm. the country and she bought it for me thank you so much for watching that highlight video if you want to watch the full conversation that we had on the game drive uh click here i'm going to put it here don't forget to like the video comment Subscribe if you haven't already, or even share with anyone who would be interested in this conversation. Um, It helps my channel and it helps me make more videos like this. Asante. Bye.